Hi, I'm Tamara Starnes with Law Enforcement Assistance Program in Virginia. I'm also a licensed professional counselor um, and one of the mental health supports for, for those teams that do post-critical incident seminars. So today I just wanted to touch base about talking to kids around the coronavirus pandemic. I know lots of questions that come our way are things like, you know, what do I say? Is there anything I'm not supposed to say to my kids? Um, does it matter how old they are, how much information we share? And I think those are all good questions to ask. So I would say just the first part of that is, yes, depending on the kid's age and also maturity, because some kids may um, be the same age but have different maturity levels and understandings of the world, will sort of guide you on how much you're sharing. And for some kids that are really young, they may not really grasp the you know the the whole big world picture view of what's happening but they can notice things like um, they're not going to daycare or mom or dad's home or you know whoever their caretaker is is staying home with them um, they also you know, kids can pick up sometimes on how how other people's emotions are they're unbelievably perceptive <laughs> so I think it's important if you are having reactions that you just kind of normalize that for your kids if they happen to be noticing. Um, you know, it's also a, a pandemic where it's a prolonged exposure. So as people chronically get stressed, everybody in the house may be a little bit more irritable. So just to be mindful of that in your interactions. Yeah. As kids get older, I think they uh, do want to know more. They're also hearing more on TV or social media. We asked our 15-year-old daughter what she, you know, thought and felt about what was happening, and um, you know, her response was, "You know, I don't know. I don't talk to to you and Dad much about it. I get all my information from social media." So, <laughs> I think that's important to note because it's really our responsibility to check in with kids. So, if you get an opportunity to check in with your kids, I think that's a good thing, and you can do that simply by asking, you know, how do you feel about everything that's going on. You can also invite them to ask you questions. You know, if you're a first responder and you're out there and you're really working in the nitty gritty of the pandemic and being exposed to things that a lot of other folks aren't, um, that may be creating some extra stress and anxiety for you. And it's okay to express that in words. You know, I think kids appreciate having validated what they're seeing also in words. So if you come home and you're kind of stressed and irritable, you may say, hey, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm extra stressed today. It's not personal, I still care about you. And maybe even take a moment to um, check in with them and how they're doing. So yes, it depends on um, the age of the kid, what you disclose. If you're honest, most of the time that's the right thing. So I would say ask how people are feeling, listen, and also be honest in your answers. Um, one thing that research has really shown is that sometimes it doesn't even matter if you fix it. You know, a lot of times we want to we want to fix things. We want to have the right the right answer. And and what we know is that just being supportive in general, just being willing to listen and sit with someone, actually can make all the difference for them um, and help calm their anxiety. So uh, thank you all for listening. I hope that helps. Again, just asking kids how they're feeling listening and then being honest with your answers in a developmentally appropriate way, I think is going to be your best bet and uh, stay safe. Thank you.